chapter 8, lesson 4, is volume of liquids. So, in the last lesson, we were finding the volume of a solid. Now, we're putting liquid into the solid. So, which means the formula will still remain the same because it's the same volume. So, it's either volume is length times breadth times height or volume is equal to side times side times side. So, that's from the last lesson. Now, if it's a solid, the unit of measurement is uh, cm cubed or meters cubed, if it's solid. Okay, but if it's liquid, the unit of measurement for liquid is either liters or milliliters. This is for liquid. So, if a problem involves both a solid and liquid that's within the solid, then we need to have both units of measurement. So, but we should remember from past lessons that 1,000 centimeters cubed is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So, 1 centimeter cubed is equal to 1 milliliter. Okay, so we also should know that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so um, the problems that I shall be discussing comes from page 166 and 171. So I'll start with page 166. Okay, so the problem says... A rectangular tank measures 26 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So this has a figure of a solid. Um, if it doesn't, I highly suggest that we draw one. Okay, so or if we don't want to draw one, we want to write down length, breadth, and height. So one or the other. So this is 26 centimeters. 15 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Okay, or the alternative is to draw. So this is 26 centimeters. This is 15 centimeters and 12 centimeters. Okay, so in letter A, the question says, ah, sorry, it is filled, the container is filled with water to a depth of 7 centimeters. Okay, so clearly that's question B because in question A, it only speaks of the solid. So in A, it says, find the capacity of the tank in centimeters cubed. Okay, so as I explained the last time, key to success, you use a formula, you write it down. So length times breadth times height. So that means this will be 26 times 15 times 12. Again, assuming that the kids are allowed to use calculator, this should be 4,680 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's the capacity of the tank. However, water is filled to 7 centimeters. So that means... In B, the length is still 26 centimeters. The breadth is still 15 centimeters. But the height now of the water is only 7 centimeters. So if we're looking for the volume, since it shares the same formula, I don't need to write it down again. This will be 26 times 15 times 12. Again, Assuming that the kids are allowed calculators, this will be 2,730 centimeters cubed. However, since this is liquid, we need to put it in milliliters. And specifically, the problem says write in liters and milliliters, not liters and then milliliters as well. So it has to have liters and milliliters in the final answer. So, which means this is technically 2,730 milliliters. 
which is also equal to 2 liters, 730 milliliters. So again, a liter has 1,000 milliliters. So if we have 2,730 milliliters, that's 2 liters and 730 milliliters. The second problem coming from page 171 says, A rectangular tank 32 centimeters, 26 centimeters, and 16 centimeters high is three-fourths filled with water. Okay, so again, it's either we draw or we write down. So uh, I'll put length, breadth, and height. Okay, and this is 32 centimeters, 26 centimeters, and 16 centimeters. And it's 3 fourth filled. Okay, then it says, the water is then poured into a cubical tank of edge 19 centimeters. So we're taking... This is 32, 26, and 16. Okay, but it's only 3 fourth filled. So here's your water. Okay, everything that's there, you're going to empty into a cube. Whose edge is... 19 centimeters, okay, until it is full. So that means extra water, there will be extra water from the rectangular tank after its content, some of its content is transferred into the cube. Okay, so then it says, how much water is left in that rectangular tank? Okay, so here there's lead on questions as well. So. The first thing that they want us to do is to find the volume of the water in the tank. And they give you three blanks. The reason for why there's three blanks is because the water is not the full tank. The water is only three-fourths of the tank. So you have an option of either putting the three-fourths in the beginning or putting the three-fourths in the end. I usually would put it in the end, so the length times the breadth, times the height, times three-fourths. Okay, but the book puts it in the front. So again, it depends on if you're careless and you'll forget, then put it in the front. But if you're careful, you're technically taking three-fourths of the height. So that's why I prefer to put it on the end. Okay, now, assuming that the kids are able to use calculators, this will be 9,984 centimeters cubed. Okay, then it asks us to find the capacity of the tank, the square tank, or the cubical tank. Okay, so the volume of that, okay, will be technically side. I'll write it down side, times side, times side. Okay, so which means this is 19 times 19 times 19. And by the way, this problem requires the kids to use their calc because there's a calculator figure to the side of the number. Okay, so again, since they're allowed, this is 6,859 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that much water is in the first tank. This much water was poured into the second tank. The question is how much is left? Okay. But again, it's water. So therefore, at the end, this has to be converted to milliliters or to liters. And they said, write your answers in liters. Okay, so which means here we take 9,984 minus 6,859. That will be the question. Again, when we subtract, that should be 3,125 centimeters cubed. Okay, since it says to write the answers in liters 
and not liters and milliliters like the previous problem, this is 3,125 milliliters, which is 3.125 liters. Because again, a liter contains a thousand milliliters. So if we divide by a thousand, we're just moving the decimal three places to the left as we learned previously. That concludes lesson four of chapter eight, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.